Oh shit. Karasuna really Karasuno really has two aces. One by somebody in the audience revealed it pretty much. But we was already thinking it. Anyway, Karasuno ran right through the first opponent. I mean straight thorough ass whooping. That's what the first well not the first episode, but Episode 16 was, I mean, just a straight ass whooping, just demolished them. And the guy says, damn, I guess the rumors wasn't true. These guys are pretty good. Anyway, next, they got to play against the blocker boys. And these guys ain't no joke. These are the guys that shut down Asashi last time. Anyway, they're playing, and uh, Karasuno, they, they're catching them off guard. But the blocker boy, like the main blocker boy, number seven... He does not sweat the small stuff in the least bit. He's the opposite of Asashi. He plays hard all the way through. He got caught off guard that um, by the fact that um, Hinata could jump so fucking high. He was like, God damn, what you doing up at this altitude? You know, that type of shit. Um, you should be used to different weather, different climate. But he seen that. He said, okay, next time. Didn't phase him or nothing. He don't give a fuck if they lose or not. He's playing his hardest. That's how the dude rolls. He plays hard all the way through. Anyway, Karasuno, Kar Karasuno, they finally hit him with the fucking quick quick. And that shit was off the fucking chain. I watched it maybe five times. The first quick quick, oh my God. Now, um, what's it called? Uh, 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 Hinata was able to score the first time because... He curved it a little bit to the uh, side, and the guy's like, okay, he got that off. And the next time he goes to do it, the guy's playing very close attention to everything. His game awareness is off the fucking charts. Hand comes out this way. As soon as I seen that hand come out that way, if I was um, Hinata, I mean, first you're going to be caught off guard. I start looking over this way, looking like I'm getting ready to do it, then go right through or something like that. I mean, you got to mix it up. You know, that type of deal. But anyway, the dude's able to find, to get to places fast because even though he's not as fast as Hinata, he looks and sees where the toss is and runs already. He doesn't he doesn't um, wait to see who gets the toss. Like, oh, shit, he got him. Let me go get this guy. As soon as he sees uh, Ka uh, uh, Kageyama goes this way, a little bit, as soon as that hand comes that way, he's already going over there for the jump. From the, from the jump for the jump. So they was able to keep up a little bit with the quick quicks. Now, um, uh, uh, it looked as if uh, uh, Karasuno was winning bad, but it really wasn't because the blocks. So even though it looked like, oh man, why is the scoreboard like that when you, seen, you, when you keep seeing uh, Karasuno block, I mean spike and score points? It's because even though the blocker boys was on, didn't spike that much. They kept scoring by the blocks. So that's how they was, it looked. It, it, it felt weird. But when you're watching it, if you know about the volleyball, then it made sense to them. But I'm, but I'm guessing like a casual fan of the anime might not even know. But like, damn, how are they keeping up? Easy. They're blocking all this shit. Anyway, Karasuno, right? They're trying to finish them off. No, you had to fucking play soccer for a minute. I mean, he had to play soccer. He had to kick the fucking ball, but finally got it over there. The shit was fucking ridiculous. They kept putting the shit up for Asashi. Asashi said, I can do it, but I can't do it alone. He said, keep putting that shit up for me. Not only that, Kageyama, he said, get it off that, that net. He said, I know you like to play close to the net. He said, but I like to play mine close to the vest. So he put it right where Asashi needed it, spiked it, finally got through. I think he got through... One time, that was it. He broke it one time at the end. The first time, what happened was they set up a decoy. And what Wushikon was saying, Hanata was saying was true. He said, with Kageyama um, uh, setting, he said, boy, that shit opens wide open. I mean, it opens wide up. So they, they set up the decoy. Asashi comes for the, um, for the spike. All the uh, blockers, they, they already jumped. They reached their... their the, the, the height, the maximum height, and they coming down. There's no way they're going to block it. And uh, Sashi's looking like, damn, this court is wide the fuck open. He said, I don't even see, it's nobody on the other side of the court. That's how I looked. Spiked the shit out of it. But anyway, 
They win two games straight in a row, but the blocker boys said that the other teammates are ass. Only the two main blocker boys, number seven and who was it, number 11, 7-Eleven or some shit. I can't remember the other dude, but he was the second one there. He blocked a couple of them. I think he did a couple spikes too. They said that he's the him and uh, blocker boy, the main blocker boy, are the only real strong team uh, teammates on the team. They said, but next uh, next spring, they're going to actually get some good players. The only reason they've been able to stand up to people is because the blocker boys. That was it. The, the main two. That was it. So next time we come back, it's going to be a harder fight. This shit was off the chain. I like how they mix shit up. Uh, some people compare this with um, um, Cork on No Basket. And God damn, they right to compare it. But the difference is with Cork on No Basket and this, even though it's so many similarities outside these, this one thing, with Cork on No Basket, it's a lot of superpowers, which makes it exciting, you know, makes it a little bit more uh, uh, Hollywood a little bit. You know, I like seeing shit blow up sometimes. But with, um, with um, Cork on No Volley, <laughs> basically, Hinata No Volley, they use a lot more strategy. They mix in some technique, but not superpower, just techniques with more strategy. But it can only last so long. With the superpowers, all you got to do is bring in a new superpower and add to mix it up. With this, they got to switch up strategies or they got to bring in new techniques. It's going to be a little bit more technical. Uh, I'm waiting for the fucking flow to serve. That's what I'm waiting for. That flow to serve, that's when it's going to start getting interesting. Uh, I want to see some super blocks. That's getting ready to come up. So they still got some room to develop them. But yeah, five out of five for the last two. The first one was just a destruction. I'm going to say it's five out of five because it really wasn't nothing bad. It wasn't bad. It, wasn't, it just was like a just straight destruction. You know, we, we, you can't really ask for so much with that. But anyway, five out of five for these episodes. Great. Uh, it was actually exciting, even though I pretty much thought they were going to win anyway. But the way they mixed it up and showed the different techniques was great. Anyway, go ahead and leave your comments, like the video, and subscribe because I can't eat. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broken. You got the power to change that. Peace.